Hello and welcome back to my channel, Out of the Box. I recently got to take a much needed vacation. And I tell you what, it was great, but it went way too fast. The whole time I was on vacation, I was thinking I needed to get on here and share with you what wigs I decided to take because I've taken a few vacations since I started wearing wigs five or six years ago and I've come to learn over time what you definitely need in your suitcase. When you have a 50 pound limit in a suitcase, that 50 pounds goes fast, especially when you want to wear all your cool clothes and take your wigs that you love, you know, and finally get to to wear them somewhere. So since that 50 pounds goes fast per suitcase, I'm here today to share with you what I decided to take on my recent vacation, the products, and also how I packed the wigs. So stay tuned and we'll get right to it. Number one, your most comfortable wig in your closet. Which one is that for you? Which one do you grab when you have to run out the door in 10 minutes? Which one can you wear all day and pre be pretty comfortable in as well as confident? So that is the first thing to consider. The most comfortable wig in my closet is what I'm wearing right now. This is Angie by Jean Reno in the color 12FS12 Malibu Blonde. I feel most confident in this wig. I grab this wig when I need to just run out the door or whatever. So this is a pretty good one for me. It is human hair, so it's super soft. It's also easy to pull up in a ponytail. So if I was wearing this all day and I got hot, like I wore this on the plane. So this was my plane wig. <laughs> I remember I got hot on the plane, so I just kind of pulled it up. Something that you can pull up without a mirror and not have to worry about what it looks like in the back. And human hair wigs, they just make such great ponytails. So that's another reason that I chose Angie. Of course, she was coming with me no matter what. And the maintenance required for Angie was pretty minimal. I made sure that I put it on the wig head when I got back to the hotel and combed it out a little bit and sprayed it with argon oil spray because these human hair fibers just love that. And when I wanted to touch up the curls, I just took my curling iron and just wrapped a few curls here and there. And I just let it sit overnight. Number two on my list was a long wig. Now that might not be the same for you, but think of a wig that really makes you feel a little sexy. Put that one in the suitcase too. For me, I wanted to take a couple long wigs. So I decided to choose Javant by Vivica Fox. This is a $40 HD synthetic wig. It's nice and straight. I wanted this one for my hat wig. Although the, the lace front, not really that believable to me, this is what I wanted to showcase when I wore this style. And the reason I put this in my suitcase was because I like the way that this style looks with a hat. So you get the idea. Here is Javant in a hat. And this, this hair looks really, really pretty. This color is P2216, which is a mix of auburns and blondes and dark blondes, which I thought really enveloped this fall season. So that's another reason I included this in. I was able to wear it all day. I just kind of split it down the middle. And I usually had a coat on because it was quite chilly. And it just... This is it after a few wears. The longevity of these synthetics isn't very long. I mean, when you're dealing with a $40 wig, you can't really expect too much out of it. So here is Javant, second on the list. And here we have Kim, a much tired Kim that really needs washed because when I got back, I pretty much threw it back up in the closet. But this is an altered Kim. At the last minute, I thought, I'm going to take one more long wig because I was kind of worried about Javant being a little scratchy, and it, it, it was. So I threw Kim on, and I thought, this is so long that I just, I don't know if I'll wear it this long. So you know what I did? I did something scary. And this was last minute. This was like a couple hours before I left. I took my scissors, and I put Kim on the wig head I got it a little wet on the ends and I cut about five inches off of Kim and I just did it with a sick stomach but I thought the only way I'm gonna really want to take it is if it's a little shorter because the longness of Kim was just swallowing me up and I've always wanted the wig Blake by John Renault and I 
and I've never got Blake. I just, I have enough wigs right now. I don't need to spend any more money on a wig. So I thought, you know, I'm going to make Kim look a little bit like Blake. So let's see what happens. So I cut it. I looked at it. I was like, okay, good enough. And I put it in that bag and I threw it in my suitcase. And I tell you what, I am so glad that I did because I ended up wearing this most of all. I wore this with so many things like it was great for the beach, riding bikes. I had it pulled over in a ponytail. And I tell you what, I love Kim even more now that I chopped five or six inches off of it. So when I took Kim off every night, I put it on my wig head, sprayed it down with a little bit of water, argon oil, a little bit of this Purify spray that makes the wig cap smell awesome. And I took my curling iron and I just wrapped a few curls around it here and there, and it was ready to go again. So I really didn't spend too much time on wig maintenance at all. So the third thing to consider when you're packing wigs for vacation is your breakfast wig. What wig are you gonna wear when you have to forage for coffee at six or 7 a.m. downstairs in the lobby and you don't wanna look like a hot mess? And trust me, when I wake up in the morning, it ain't pretty. I have half balding, half bio hair sticking up like a clown don't have any eyebrows on it's it's pretty scary so I didn't want to scare anybody too much so I woke up put sienna on my head sprayed it with a little bit of water scrunched it up drew my eyebrows on downstairs in five or ten minutes upon getting out of bed so sienna you get five stars for being there for me in the morning I couldn't have did it without you girl I appreciate those morning coffees and those little walks you were there for me I'll never forget it. <laughs> okay, we're going to get to number four now. And number four, what wig am I going to wear if I'm going down to the pool or getting in the hot tub with my man? What am I going to put on my head so I feel a little sexy? I know it really doesn't matter to a lot of people, but I'm on vacation. I want to look cute in the hot tub and I want to look cute at the pool. But what wig did I take for that? It's coming right up is Esprit by Ellen Villa. And this is the color Caramel Rooted. This is a fairly old wig, and I took it on purpose because I knew that it would get wet, it would get worn, it would maybe get sweaty. That's definitely why I threw this in my suitcase. Trust me, you need one older synthetic wig to throw in there so you can go to the pool in it and you don't have to worry about it getting hurt because who knows, like, you might do something really active on vacation and need something like that too. So consider that when you're packing for your next trip. So let's talk about what products I took in my suitcase. I didn't want to overwhelm myself with too many hair products and too many wigs. So I tried to make it as simple as possible. What I did take, which took up a little room, was my wig head. I'm very glad that I did because at the end of the day, it was an easy way for me to comb out my wigs and style my wigs. I took a couple T-pins with me. Also, a wig stand so I could sit it up and style it. Of course, I took my wig comb, my fine tooth comb, and my curling iron. As products, I kept it very, very simple. I took wig shampoo and conditioner for synthetic hair. I put it in these two little bottles. I also took my wig shampoo and conditioner for human hair. They didn't take up much room in my suitcase at all, and it was a great way to wash the hair because I know when you're on vacations and you go to different restaurants and places, sometimes that smell just gets sucked up into your hair, so it's good to have some shampoo on hand for that. As far as products, I took my Jean Reno Detangler for synthetics. And this is a must-have for human hair wigs. This is the Argon Oil Treatment Mist Spray by Jean Reno. This is a definite plus. If you forget anything, don't forget this if you wear human hair wigs. Also took a little thing of hairspray. Didn't take up much room. As far as products to style, I kept it very simple and I took some 3-in-1 treatment spray. And this stuff is great. You can really, really style, get some style and some curls and kinks and stuff with this. So this was full when I left. So this really came in handy. I also can't find the little bottle I put this in, but some Purify spray. This helps keep the cap of the wig smelling good and all that. So I definitely included that. So all you see is a 
few little items here. Didn't take up much room at all. So now I'm going to show you how I packed my wigs in my suitcase. And this is just something that I came up with that is pretty simple. Don't make that harder than it is either. You don't need all the boxes. You don't need a bunch of stuffing and all the netting. Leave all that at home. You don't need it. This is the easiest way to do it. Took the wig, take a little bit of tissue paper and stuff it in there. If it's a longer wig, just fold it up in half. Then I took these, I love these sachet bags. I think I got these off of Amazon. They're pack of 12, I think. Take your wig, put it in there, fold it in half, and there you go. Your wig is now separated from the other wigs. It is going to hold its style because it's folded in this nice bag. It's going to get air, and it's also going to be easy to pack. So you can imagine about six of these wigs stacked up stacked up on each other in the suitcase. So easy. You don't have them laying all over the hotel room. You know which is which. Like I used my purple one for Angie. The black bag was a spree and so on and so forth. So this is a great way to pack up your wigs. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope it was super helpful for you on things to consider when you're packing for a trip or vacation. Unfortunately for me, it's back to the grind, baby, and it sucks. But we got to work, got to make that money. Take care of yourself, and I will see you back here real soon on Out of the Box.